All right, check this out. 17 and a half foot long, 24 inches deep, heavy duty brake. So we're gonna show you a few action shots with this baby. Uh, so we'll be using the stoppers to set our uh, limit for using our two-way cutter. And then we'll make some bends using our measuring tool. I feel like I might need uh, somebody to help me out measuring uh, off those gauges at 17 and a half uh, foot distance. So check it out. Preset of them at 16 inches. That gives us eight inch on the outside cutting distance. Take our first rip, over down our two-way cutter. We've been using for a while. There we go. It's one cut. Don't leave your coil stock on the ground like that. You're gonna scratch it. It's just for show and tell. This is awesome. We'll flip our stoppers the other way. This is our eight inch distance. Lock the brake. And away we go. Let's see if we can bend the uh, 17 feet from uh, one end. I would obviously recommend doing it from the middle of the brake, but we like to push the limits, so. This is unreal. So obviously this is the end result. We got 90 degrees here. We have a little over bend on that side. We'll come in and show you guys. That was from bending 17 feet away, one single user. Uh, so obviously just, uh, I'm so surprised that it, uh, it went that whole way. Uh, but uh, obviously we'll be doing it from the middle of the brake. That was the safety bend, hand bend, so I'll finish it off, flatten it from the middle of the brake, and then I'll do uh, other bends. I'll do, uh, I'll try and do a step fascia. So we'll uh, probably get somebody to line me up on the measurements at the other end here, and I'll line myself up on, I can, I can probably even see from the middle. So we'll, uh, let's have some fun. So we'll uh, finish the hand bend from the middle of the brake. Obviously if you're bending from, So I'll uh, do my inch and a half bend. So let's see if I can see the measurements from the middle. So I can see inch and a half here. I guess we got more, less light on this one. Inch and a half. Inch and three eighths. Let's go back to an inch and a half. Lock the brake. And you'll notice we got kind of a short angle so that makes it more efficient you have less bending to do than uh, the conventional brakes to get to your 90 here we are at 90 check out how straight that is that's so awesome so we'll finish our hand bend finish the crimp on that side Obviously, I'd recommend doing a long piece like that with two people. Uh, but this is, uh, this is really, really, really impressive. So, let's be ballsy and do a, a reverse bend now. This is just uh, 419 aluminum. It's the stuff that we all use commonly on the construction sites in Canada. Up. So here, I'll go, I'll do two and a half inches. So what I'm doing right now is I can see with the light, I can see my measurements. So I'm at two and a half inches here. And then I can walk to this end. Because I'm resting on that end, I know it's like having another hand holding me at the end here. So now I can finish here. Go to two and a half inches. Lock the brake. Back to the middle. Take my 90. I'm happy to have that extra bend now. I have more strength, so that's the material. Go back for our 5 eighths for our piece of stocking fascia. Locker in. There we 
There you go. That's pretty awesome. <laughs>